Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on the center map, playing some Ark Survival Evolved, and uh, as you can see, we are not in our little hut. So, because I am in a tribe, me and uh, two of the tribe members, no, open, open is okay, and two of the tribe members got together and built, or we're going to build our base, this massive stone fortress of awesomeness. Um, I've never built with people like this before, and let me tell you, it went amazing. I mean, look at this. It's absolutely awesome. Um, it took like, I don't know, 10% of the time would have taken me to do it on my own. Uh, oh, we got some meat and stuff. And uh, just when I thought that was it, I go outside and they also have tamed some dinos. We got a little uh, Triceratops action going on here. An RG, which I think they were taming right when I was leaving. And then uh, a Dillo, or a Dilo. Um, but also what I noticed is there's this other trike stuck right in the middle of the, uh, <laughs> other trike and, the, and, uh, I think we want to tame it. But, I don't want to get the Dillo killed. Let's get this guy out of there. If we can. It's a 115 trike. So that's how I kind of thought how we'd start today. Oh, look, now he's trying to run away. Is everything on passive? Um, I do want to tame up a bunch of stuff, but I think we'll start with this guy. And kind of just see how it goes. Ooh. I did not plan this at all. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to hide or jump on. Normally, I find a little rock. Oh, there's a rock. But where to go? Are you attacking my stuff, or are you running away? Is this it? Really? That wasn't that many shots at all. Having a little 115 track would be nice, because I do want to make up some... Uh, oh, crap. I think I hit it after it already went down. Um, what kind of kibble do trikes need? Because we have the kibble vending machine. All right, I'm going to have to look up what kind of kibble they need and use the vending machine to get um, some kibbles made. And when this guy's taming up, I will bring y'all back. All right, so this trike is just about uh, tamed up. And there it is. And I've already put the saddle in the inventory. And we're going to go ahead and name this gal the same thing I named my very first trike ever. Trisha the Tremendous. Uh, this. Seems good. Trisha the Tremendous. Heck yeah. Um, so obviously this is going to be light years above that other trike. But while this trike was taming up... I did go ahead and go get some berries so I could make some narcotics because with those narcotics I can make more trank arrows because I don't have a whole lot. We do have a mod on here called like sleepy time something or the other. Um, drugs, narcotics, 97. And uh, that gives us better tranks and stuff. I don't think we're quite there yet. We need like rhino horns and stuff to make them. So I'm going to get this stuff crafted up and then we're going to go tame some more things. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, you know what? But also, I didn't even tell you guys. Look at all the freaking advancements we made. We're in flak. We have a gun and a crossbow with arrows and different glasses and metal tools and the whole deal. So we definitely got a lot done in the last day. <laughs> all right, guys. So we took out the Argent and we found a 120 beaver. At first, I got super excited being like, that's the max level. But then I realized it's not because we're on the center and the max level is 150. Either way, so we already killed a couple other beavers, there's one over there, but either way, that's still a really good starting level beaver. Um, let's see, what uh, kibble do they take? Is it galley kibble? Or terror bird? Shoot, I'll have to look it up. But because we can pick him up in the Argent, we're going to take him home and knock the sucker out. We went ahead and made up, uh, we have 42 narcotics and there were some more making at the, at the uh, base as well, oh, there's a Rex there. Let's not get attacked by that. Um, as well as we have 45 Trank Arrows, which should be more than enough, considerably. It should probably take like 15 to get this guy out. Um, this is a great level starting beaver, so that's awesome. So what I should have done is pre-created like a taming pen, but since I didn't, I'm gonna see if I can use this. Uh, oh, where'd he go? Oh, oh, he's already aggroed to me, so that's no problem. Okay, if you could just sit still, just for one hot minute. What, where are you going? Sit, right? Gotcha, okay. 
Now he's got to hit him a bunch of times. This is, which is going to be a problem if he keeps running around like this. Oh, there we go. Sit right there, bud. Just sit right there and let us knock you out. I haven't used regular tranks in so long. Oh, he's running. Oh. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. I'm not going to lie. Oh, he's running. Ha! <laughs> Where are you going, bud? Don't you want to be friends? All right, we're taking the rest of this from the ground so we can't run away. Ooh, I know beavers do more damage than I feel like they should. Where are you going now? Go to sleep! And no, oh. I thought for sure that was it. Come on. Ooh, he's actually getting a little bloody. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Where do you think you're going? Oh yeah, come after me. Ooh, this is actually a little more difficult than I thought. I guess it's been so long since I've used regular tranks. I underestimated how much this would take. We are shooting tranks, right? Oh, I hate the runaway mechanic. You hit him, and he comes and attacks you. You hit him, and he runs away. I should probably be spacing out my shots. Oh wow, this is like an insane number of trank darts. Ooh. And he's out! Okay. So, it's a good thing he's freaking way out here and not right next to our base, which is where we wanted him. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and look up what kibble he needs. I'm gonna make some up, and then I'm going to tame him up. See you guys in a minute. <laughs> Alright guys, so we actually did something we haven't done in a long time. Which is starve tame the sucker. So that we could just feed them all at once and get it done. So I believe we need five more food. I looked it up. This should only take four galley kibble to tame the sucker up. So just a little bit more. It's 82. I think he needs to get to three, six, eight, zero. Here we go. And he should tame up uh, straight away. Let's see. One, two, three, and tamed. Awesome. Uh, it came out at 179, which if this was Scorched Earth or the island, that would be a great level. But it's only an okay level on the center because we do have that higher max level. Let's go ahead and take this guy home. And uh, I'm not going to worry about a saddle right now because I just want to go do some more taming. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what I want to do is uh, I want to keep taming the harvest guys. So that guy's going to get us wood. Uh, we, I would like to get a deer, a Megalocera, so let's give this guy some speed. Eh, technically he's not my Argent, he's just someone else's in the tribe Argent, but I'm pretty sure they'd want speed on him, because he's slow. Uh, so I want to go ahead and go over to the snow area. Oh, do I have enough fortitude? How much fortitude do I have? I got 20. Oh, that should be alright for going to the snow to grab myself a Megaloceros. Uh, a male Megaloceros. And, uh, or, you know, maybe we'll see something else in the way, who knows? <laughs> All right, so I'm seeing this green drop here, and it's got the yellow ring around it. That normally means it's a scorched earth drop, I thought. What does it have in it? Oh, kibbles. We have the RAR beacons mod on. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with that. It's really weird, though. Anyways, let's look. It's really slow. But we're going to keep going ahead and looking for a deer. All right, guys, it has been mere seconds since I just uh, said I'll be right back. And the first deer I looked at is a male level one, four, five. Holy crap, that's amazing. Even for endgame, I'd be happy with that. So I'm pretty stoked. We're gonna go ahead and get this sucker back to base. And uh, yeah, I think I have to build a little taming pen for him because I don't want him to run it off and whatnot. All right, guys, we built this little uh, taming pen thing up. Some of it is thatched because it's all we had and we couldn't be bothered to build more stuff because we're kind of in a rush. So, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can drop this sucker in there, make our lives a little easier. Okay, here we go. Just a little over the top. Is he in? Oh, he's in. Okay. Oh, I just realized I accidentally put all of my Trank Arrows in uh, 
the smithy or whatever I was crafting in. Okay, smithy, smithy. <laughs> Trank arrows. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this sucker down. All right. And I'm hoping, I don't remember if they run. Put everybody on passive. Or if they attack. Oh, he looks like he's running. Or it looks like he's really just doing nothing. So in that case, that works just fine. Oh man, it's been so long. It's crazy to me how many shots it takes after using things like 30cc darts. Or the more Tranks and Narcs mod. Ooh, I'm about to be starving to death really soon, huh? In one food. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure we got some good cooked meat inside. There we go, he's down. Alright. So, I gotta go, uh... Get some food in me. And I've got to... I think I actually gotta go get some metal. I don't think we have any more metal in the kibble cooker. So we'll get a little bit of metal. Let's just do like, meh, 15 of these suckers. They're right there. So I'm gonna go get a little bit of metal. Get up a little bit of kibble. And, uh... Then just tame this sucker up. Open. Oh my gosh. We are using Structures Plus, which comes with these automatic doors, which I am learning to hate with a vengeance. Holy crap. Um, well, I better check. I'm pretty sure their topor goes down super slow, right? Yeah, we got some time. Maybe not super slow, but slow enough. Cool. We're going to get some metal, and get some kibble, and tame them up. Alright, this guy is about to be up. Any second now. <clears throat> Here we go. There it is. What did it come out as? Level 217. That is what I would call, man, not so bad. Okay, so now I think it's time to make the saddle. So we need a Casteroids saddle. Have I learned these yet? Casteroids saddle. Uh-oh. We might not have enough for the Megalocero saddle. We are one short. Oh, and we're so close to leveling. Let's make the Casteroid saddle. Wait, is he unfollow? I don't believe I unfollowed you. Where'd you go, bud? Where is he? Megaloceros. Okay, you sit. You stay. Stay. On passive. Uh, 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 uh. Casteroid saddle is made in the smithy. And it is, takes, what does it take? Hide, fiber, metal, ooh, it's expensive. Thatch and cementing paste, holy crap. Okay, well first, let's start by taking everything from here, whatever it is, and putting it in there, because there's lots of stuff in there. And great, okay, now what do we need? Thatch. Eh. See, a little bit more manageable now, isn't it? Uh, 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 okay, we we'll have to go get it by hand because we don't have a saddle for a Megaloceros yet. Open. All right, we've got the thatch that I need. I hope that should be enough at least. Just got a hundred, and it's not really. We really need seven more thatch. Oh, you know what? I bet you there's seven more thatch on uh, da, 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 Horny McBerry. <laughs> sure is. There's 918 thatch. Which guess what? That's more than four or seven. Seven. How much do we need? Was it four or seven? Doesn't matter, we have 918. And bam. Ah, <sighs> feels good. It feels good to get this little Casteroid saddle. Okay. That's a really expensive saddle, actually. All right. Oh, and we did level. Let's go through it and wait. And now we can learn the Megaloceros saddle. And what does that take? Uh, where do we make that? Here? Megalos... No. Here? Oh, and look, we've got enough for that, too! It's like a miracle! It's amazing! <clears throat> okay. So now we go ahead and saddle both of these suckers up that we got today. Open. Open. Alright. Casteroids. It's a female... And we will name the female 
Uh, Justina Beaver, obviously. <clears throat> and we will name the deer. The male deer. I don't know. I don't know. I, one, one or two names is all I got in me in a day. Oh, extra kibble. Um, but it's awesome because now we got one of these guys. Oh, is that a wild argent? Yes, it is. Oh, come at me, bro. What are you going to do? I can take you out with this deer. You ain't got nothing on us. <sighs> Level 50. You're out of hand. You are out of hand, sir. Um, and now we got a deer, and that's awesome. Sweet. But anyways, guys. I do think that's going to be it for today. We did a lot. We got the beaver. We got Trisha the Tremendous. And we got an unnamed Megaloceros. Uh, it's a male. We're going you know, to name it. Mike. Mike. No. It's more classy than that. Michael. Michael the Megaloceros. He's classy. This is the big old neck beard going on. It's an old wise Michael. Um... Anyways, guys, I do think that is going to be it for today. I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. If you did enjoy the video or if you did learn something, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that like button. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you look in the description down below, you will see links to my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Google+, Plus, I guess, too. I put that in there <laughs> just for funsies. And uh, that way you guys can... Uh, hit me up on there, you know, follow me, enjoy me, hit me up, throw me some comments. If there's any particular videos you want to see, uh, give me a comment, shoot me a message. Anyways, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And uh, until next time, I will see you later.